everybody, it's Anne here from PositivelyPaperCraft.co.uk and today I wanted to share this lovely new bundle with you um, which is Botanical Bliss and you get some gorgeous little stamps here and it's um, clear mount and if you get it in a bundle you can get these beautiful matching um, dies which the idea of them is um, you can make really pretty tags out of them um, by cutting the um, die out of the top and then gives you this lovely effect so I've just used the stamps one of the stamps um, to stamp the card and I've just put some ribbon and twine on okay so that's um, you know the idea of this set but I've been playing around with it um, here's another tag I made which this one has the birds on and I think that is gorgeous so there's a couple of tags that I've made but as I said I've been playing around and I made this card because what I did was I just cut them out I cut two of the same out on a, a long thin piece of card and then I wrapped it round and it kind of gives you this effect which I think that's really pretty and that's in one of my favourite colours which is blueberry bushel I love that colour um, all the stamps are from the actual uh, stamp set so that's one of them and this I think is my favourite that is just gorgeous so simple but it's beautiful and all I did was I literally just took the die and I just put it on in the middle of a piece of very vanilla and that is what it left us with and then obviously the card underneath is shown through which gives the um, you know the colour of a well a sort of pinky red rose and I just put some of the lovely lipstick that's what colour this is in some ribbon so that's that one so you don't just have to use them for tags this one is in grapefruit grove and that's using that die there okay same sort of concept and then blueberry bushel again and that one is got the birds on which I think it's beautiful really happy with how this effect has turned out so that's a few cards and then another tag that I made because you can actually cut the flowers out completely which that is what these little bits are for here okay so there's a few ideas and that was just a one that I was just playing around with but I definitely love these cards especially this one so I think we'll do a card and then I'm going to show you um, how you can cut the flowers out and stuff. So I have got a piece of um, gorgeous grape which is 4 by 8 inches and it's scored at 4. And I've got a piece of whisper white which is 3 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. Okay. So... I think today we'll use this rose again so we're going to get the big shot okay so I'm just going to bring this in and just show you how easy it is so I'm just going to put the piece of whisper white which will be my um, card front and then I'm just going to put the die roughly in the middle just somewhere about there and then run it through and then as you can see we're gonna um, push all these little pieces out And then obviously you can put anything, any colour card behind it to give you that effect. So that's that. Just quickly 
get this out the way. All right, and then I've got some of the mini striped ribbon in gorgeous grape. And I'm going to do what I did with the others. I'm just going to put glue and um, sorry, tape a little bit down, like wrap it around. And I've already tied a little bow with the same ribbon. So I'm just going to use some of this um, scotch tape. And I'm just going to touch it round the back. Okay, just like that. And then we will take our piece of gorgeous grape card, just burnish that. And then that is just going to get stuck onto there. And then this is what gives us this beautiful effect. So before I do that, I've got Friend from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp it in gorgeous grape. Okay, so I'm just going to pop it up there roughly in the middle okay love this colour and then I'm just going to take some glue and I'm just going to stick it onto the card any on there okay so there should just be like a little border all the way around get it stuck on the right place that is Make sure that's stuck. Really simple but absolutely beautiful. And then the little bow. Where's my little bow gone? There it is. I am just going to pop that, I think, just there with a little bit with a glue dot. Sorry. So as I said, if you just have a play around, you can you can do loads of different things with this. I'm just going to stick that on there, and there we go. That is absolutely beautiful. So there's another one, and then I'm going to get the big shot back, and I'm just going to show you how I got the flower cut out which I did on this tag here so I've got a bit of card okay and then I'm going to take this one here and just just pop it on anywhere really I just want to show you so just cut that out okay i'm just going to get my little brush to get all these little pieces out of the, the dye 
okay so that's what you end up with but then you can also cut this actual flower out if you want to so we're just going to pop it back on and then what we're going to do so pop it back on and then you want to take this one here and this will just line up I need it this way actually to put it on so I can see where I'm putting it and what that does is that just cuts around and it cuts the flower out stick it in there so we can see what I'm doing going to do. I'm going to cut it off this piece of the card. There so that's how you could have your tag and then we are going to actually cut this whole thing away from the card completely. So just line that on there And then you've got some little flowers that you can little flowers you can use to decorate your cards. There you go. So you can completely cut that away. And the same with this one as well. So say if you take this one here and we will just cut this one out. you end up with with that again which obviously it's still in the card I'm just going to snip these this little bit of card off here so we've got that and then if we wanted to cut this whole flower away you would take the other piece which is this one and this, I believe, would line up like, like this. So that would line up there and then run this through and then that will actually cut the flower out so you have again you've got another flower that you could use for your cards or whatever so I just really wanted to share it with you because I think sometimes when you look at you know the stamps and dies in the catalogue and you know you think that they're just for tags or just for certain things but you know they're not which I think they are absolutely beautiful so yeah hope you've enjoyed it so I'll be back again soon with another tutorial so thanks for watching take care and bye for now